Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today, we are going to solve the term or time of an ordinary simple annuity. We are going to discuss how to compute the term or time of an ordinary simple annuity. What are the objectives of this lesson? We are going to discuss ordinary simple annuity. Then we are going to determine the formula to be used in solving the term or time of an ordinary simple annuity. Then we are going to solve the term or time of an ordinary simple annuity. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. No matter what comes on your way, please do not give up. What is annuity? It is a series of equal payments at regular intervals. Example of the application of annuity, we have payments of insurances, premiums, leases, mortgages, pensions, personal loans, rent, or term loans. What is ordinary simple annuity? An ordinary annuity it is the annuity that is paid or received at the end of the time period. While simple annuity it is the annuity in which the number of compounding periods per year coincides with the number of annuity payments per year. So these are the keywords or these are the variables to be remembered. J is equal to nominal interest rate. M is the number of conversion per year or number of compoundings per year. T is time period or term of the loan or investment. N is equal to the number of payments in the annuity. R is the size of each annuity payment or the periodic payment. Then I, that is interest rate per compounding period. So these are the compounding frequencies and, and periods. We have for annual, we have one number of compoundings per year, one payment, that is only per year. Semi-annual, we have two number of compoundings per year, that is every after six months. Quarterly, we have four number of compoundings per year. For bi-monthly, we have six numbers of compounding per year. Then for monthly, we have 12. Please remember this table. Let's now try to solve the, given prob the, the first given problem. How long will it take for annual year-end contributions of 57,000 to an educational savings plan to grow 1 million pesos if the plan earns 13% compounded annually? What are the formula formulas to be used? If the given is future value, the formula, will, it, the formula is like this. N is equal to log multiplied by the quantity of N sub N, S sub N multiplied by I over r plus 1 divided by log multiplied by the quantity log quantity of 1 plus i if the given is the present value we are going to use this formula n is equal to log 1 minus a sub n multiplied by i divided by r over negative log 1 plus i so that is so these are the formulas to be used let's now try to identify the given problem a while ago how long will it take for annual year and contributions of 57,000 to an educational savings plan to grow 1 million if the plan earns 13% compounded annually? What are the given? We have S sub N, that is the future value, 1 million pesos. We have the periodic payment or R, that is 57,000 pesos. That is the equal payment. Then we have M, that is 1. Uh, number of compoundings per year because it's annually. We have J that is 13% or 0 0.13. This is the nominal interest rate. In order for us to get the value for I, we are going to divide J by M. That is nominal interest rate that is 0 0.13 divided by M, the number of compoundings per year. 0 0.13 divided by 1, that is 0 0.13. So these are the given. Let's identify the formula to be used. So since we have future value, we are going to use this one. N is equal to log S sub N multiplied by I over R plus 1 divided by log 1 plus I. Let's now substitute the given on the formula. And it goes like this. S sub N is 1 million. I is 0 0.13. Then R is 57,000, I is 0 0.13. What is the first process? We are going to multiply this one. 
1 million multiplied by 0 0.13. 1 million multiplied by 0 0.13 and we are going to add 1 and 0 0.13. And it goes like this. 1 million divided 1 million multiplied by 0.13 the answer is 130,000 pesos. 1 million multiplied by 0 0.13 the answer is 130,000. 1 plus 0 0.13 that is 1.13. 1 plus 0 0.13, that is 1.13. The next process, we are going to divide 130,000 by 130,000 divided by 57,000. 130,000 divided by 57,000, the answer is 2.280701, 75439. 130,000 divided by 57,000, the answer is 2.280701.75439. After that, you add this one and one, 2.280701.75439 plus one, the answer is 3.280701.75432. After that one, after we add this two, we are going to simplify log 3.280701.75439 and log 1.13, and it goes like this. Log 3.380701.75439 is equal to 0 0.515966.7509, and log, log 1.13 is equal to 0 0.0530. 7844348. And the final process is to divide 0 0.515966 by 0 0.053078443348. And the final answer is 9.72 years. Okay? This is the number of term, 9.72 years. Okay. Let's try to solve the next problem. Miss Michelle Makugai plans to avail 27,000 home improvement loan with her bank's lending officer. The interest rate of the loan will be 18% compounded quarterly. How long will it take to repay the loan if the quarter if the quarterly are 25,000? Okay. Yep. Let's now identify the formula to be used. Since the given is present value because uh, we are because Michelle is going to plan to avail the amount of 270000 for the room improvement. That means it is a present value because she will she are, she is going to borrow 270000 Let's now identify the given and formula to be used. So what are the given? Miss Michelle Makugay plans to avail 27,000 pesos. Home improvement loan with her bank's lending officer. The interest rate of the loan will be 18% compounded quarterly. How long will it take to repay the loan if the quarterly are 25,000 pesos? What are the given? A sub N or, or the present value that is 270,000. We are going to use A sub N because that is the present value. Okay, the periodic payment is 25,000 per quarter. Number of compoundings per year is four because it's per quarter. Then we have J. 18%, that is the nominal interest rate. In order for us to get the value for I, that is J over M, that is 0 0.18 divided by 4, the nominal interest rate divided by the number of compoundings per year, and the answer is 0 0.045. Okay. Let's identify the formula to be used. Since the, since the present value is given, we are going to solve we are, we are going to use this formula, n is equal to log 1 minus a sub n multiplied by i over r divided by negative log 1 plus i. Let's now substitute the given on the formula. and it, These are the given and this is the formula and it goes like this. a sub n is 270,000. i is 0 0.045. r is 25,000. I is 0 0.045. The first process, multiply. 
270,000 by 0 0.045. We are going to multiply 270,000 by 0 0.045 or 0 0.045 and we are going to add 1 plus 0 0.045. And it goes like this. 27,000 multiplied by 0 0.045, that is 12,150. And 1 plus 0 0.045, that is 1.045. Those are the two first processes. Next one, we are going to divide this one. 12,150 divided by 25,000. Divide. 12,150 by 25,000. And the answer is 0 0.486. 12,150 divided by 25,000. The answer is 0 0.486. After that, we are going to subtract 1 minus 0 0.486. 1 minus 0 0.486. And the answer is? 0 0.514. 1 minus 0 0.486, that is 0 0.514. Okay, the next step, we are now going to get the value of log 0 0.514 and negative log 1.045. And it goes like this. Log 0 0.514 is equal to negative 0 0.2890 36881 and negative log 1.045, it's equal to 0 0.019116290045. The last step, we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator. We are going to divide the numerator and the denominator, that is negative 0 0.2890368811, divided by negative 0 0.019116290045. And the final answer is N is equal to 15.12 quarters or 3 years, 9 months, and 11 days. So the term of an ordinary simple annuity that is 15.12 quarters or 3 years, 9 months, and 11 days. I hope you were able to follow our simple process for today. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there is a solution. Thank you for watching everyone and may the Lord bless you. Bye. See you on our next tutorial.